Mark Fontes reminding you for the best in New Jersey's team apparel and field equipment, you gotta go with Ron Cephalone at CG Sports. Like them on Facebook. I don't wanna know, no, 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 who's taking you home? A possible MCT preview as Colonial Division rivals Princeton High and Robbinsville faced off in a game that was sure to please. Early on, both goalkeepers got a taste of the work that would be cut out for them. The Ravens' Nick Koch stops this nicely. He'd register 31 saves. Robbinsville's Nick Dugan with the puck. He shoots. That is stopped well by Sawyer Peck. He'd record 20. Final minute of the first, Princeton's Ryan McCormick shoots, gets it back, and on the second try, pokes it in there. That would give the Little Tigers a 1-0 lead that would hold for a while in a game dominated by tough physical defense. Second period, Princeton's Justin Joyce on the attack. He shoots. It is wrapped up by Koch. Moments after this, a scuffle ensued involving multiple players. Tough and unfortunate break for the Ravens' Jack Polito, who really is a great guy. They would assess a five-minute penalty, which would put the Little Tigers on a power play for that much time. Ravens, however, rose to the occasion. Koch grabs it with Sean Camisa and Ryan Van Doren backing him up. Net gets dislodged in the process. Camisa and Van Doren among those formidable Raven defenders. They would really do a top-notch job here, keeping the puck out of harm's way, despite the five-on-four advantage. The puck is cleared. Late in the power play, Princeton felt like they got robbed right here. You won't see the puck that well because of all the bodies in the way, but the Little Tiger fans and players were both convinced that this just did cross over the line for a goal. We may never know for sure. The refs did not count it, so the Ravens get out of it unscathed. It remained 1-0. Third period, Arville needing to act. Josh Rosenbaum, who had that third period hat trick last time we saw the Ravens, well, he makes this look easy. Scoots that one in to get the Ravens on the board. New life for Robbinsville. Late in the third period, the Ravens would enjoy a minute 54 second power play, but call it the puck, the Little Tigers, right place, right time, Aiden Trainer breaking away with it. He will score a shorthanded goal, and that would be all they wrote. Princeton High wins 2-1. I'm Mark Fontes for Sports Skillet Radio.